An effort to fight air pollution in China and across East Asia may have unintentionally expedited global warming, at least over a short term. The findings come in a new study published in Communications Earth and Environment on Monday. Researchers discovered while air pollution did clear up significantly, some of the aerosols eliminated in the process were those that cool the Earth. This caused temperatures to increase by about 0.05 degrees Celsius per decade since 2010. The revelations come as China has implemented strict air quality regulations. It was able to reduce emissions of sulfur dioxide by 75 percent after enacting the stricter rules. But while sulfur dioxide is harmful to humans and wildlife, its particles are among those of aerosols used to cool the planet. As Straight Arrow News reported, when clouds form around certain aerosols, their particles absorb solar energy from the atmosphere and work to dim sunlight on the ground. In the absence of clouds, these aerosols can still be used to reflect sunlight away from Earth and towards space. Before China's aggressive air quality control measures, pollution had been the leading cause of premature death in the country, according to researchers. However, fewer cooling aerosols in the air around East Asia and the globe have resulted in greater warming of the planet. The authors contend the fight against climate change should largely focus on eliminating the biggest drivers of global warming, CO2 and methane emissions. Researchers discovered the temperature increase by using data from major climate models projected from the years 2015 to 2049. The co-author of the study acknowledged that because sulfur dioxide and sulfate aerosols have lifespans of about a week, the temperature increase may be short-lived and prior warming trends may re-emerge in the near future. Researchers plan to study the impact of eliminating aerosols around the world as part of further research to predict future climate trends. For more on this story, download the Shader News app or visit san.com. For Shader News, I'm Kaylee Carey.